Uh, this is the term to let me Kakungulu, a founder of Avaida congregation. He was a Jewish because he practiced what the Jews do. Here lies a warrior. Kakungulu worked for the British colonizer. Then he commanded all his troops and all the boys in his tribe to get circumcised. At the beginning of the last century, he founded the only Jewish community in Uganda. The night before Shabbat, the Jewish Sabbath, the villagers of Namayoni prepare unleavened bread. In the synagogue, the rabbi prepares the Shabbat ceremony. The Abba Yudaya follow all the rites and rituals of Judaism, but they're not the Falashas, that Ethiopian tribe flown to Israel in the 1980s. The difference in, in, in our Jewishness is that the Falashians, uh, they believe to have come from Israel. The, 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 the origin is from Israel. The Ugandan Jews are not one of the tribes of Israel, but their conversion has been recognized by several reform rabbis. They now hope to make their aliyah and immigrate to Israel. We think that time is coming. We are preparing our families here, one by one, and we shall prepare the first family soon to go to Israel. At the base of Elgin Mountain, some 800 Abba Yudaya live alongside Christians and Muslims. Their kids go to the same schools, but the Jewish children have tutors to help them learn Hebrew. We want them to understand and then be able to communicate with the people from Israel. Two American Orthodox Jews have come to live in the village. The Abba Yudaya want to take advantage of the law of return in Israel. They'll have to just submit to the fact that Israel only accepts Orthodox conversions. That's, that's how it goes. So if, if they really want to go, then if they want to go for the law of return, then they need to have additional conversions besides the one that they'll be getting in a month, which is a conservative conversion. The Abba Yudaya are impoverished and see Israel as their El Dorado. They know the falashes of Ethiopia are marginalized there, but nevertheless, Uganda's Jews still believe in the Promised Land.